De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Oni of Ife is alleged to have cried, who is doing this to me, as Olori Naomi went back on her word that she will never, ever, ever return back to the palace of the Oni of Ife as long as those women are there. She repeated it once again that her number one priority now is to care for Tade Nikawo, that she is not sure of the safety of her son if she goes back to the palace with Tade Nikawo, that if everything they are trying to do is to try and normalize everything for her to return back and be part of the royal family with those Oloris inside the palace, that she does not have the strength to fight and she does not want to fight, that they have collected only of effect. They are free to have BAC, that she is not returning back into the palace of the Oni of Ife. And they said this thing made Oni of Ife very, very devastated that he shed tears and he's asking who, who is doing this, like who is manipulating Olori Naomi. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dela Rama. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce. still on the royals. Dela right, my Dela right, my Dela right, my super people. Dela right, my Dela right, my Dela right, my super people. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this channel. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you for your love, your support. Please, if you're here and you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> It's not a small thing, though, that said our baby girl, Queen Nami, has gone back on her word that she is not returning back into the palace of the Oni of Ife as long as those women are there. Now, um, a few weeks ago, we had a report allegedly that she had agreed to return back to the palace um, with uh, Lori Toby because Lori Toby had twins. And um, uh, with Dr. Elizabeth, we have always known that she's been in a very um, good relationship with Dr. Elizabeth from what we have been hearing or what we have been made to believe that she has got a very good relationship with Dr. Elizabeth. But right now we are hearing again allegedly that she's going back on her word that she is not returning back into the palace of the Oni of Ife, except the Oloris are not there. Now, the Oloris doesn't include Dr. Elizabeth. A lot of people are saying no, that every other Olori, including Olori Toby. So what is going on is what we do not know. Now, people are beginning to say, is it as a result of what Iagba did? Is it the water Iagba used to wash her face that cleared up everything because we have had rumor you know it was rumor that they are using stuff to manipulate her into agreeing to everything they want to turn her into you know um, um somebody that will agree to everything they say perhaps when she gets back into the palace she will not be herself she will not be able to pray and do those things that she used to do the same thing that used to scare the living daylight out of them and maybe that is why they are manipulating her so much now another reason again is that um people are under the notion that the manipulation is also coming to soften her because if she agrees to move into the palace with the only of be fair, there will be no need for any other Oloris to move. They will all stay there together and act as equals and there will be no problem. Now, um, uh, where is this coming from? Why is she going back on her word? Uh, a reneging, like she is not returning back into the palace of the Oni of Ife. And they said the Oni of Ife is um, really, really sad. Like the man cried and said, who is doing this? Because of course, they do know that something is obviously wrong, as in really, 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 really wrong. And, you know, they know that somebody is doing something somewhere, either to calm her down so that she will agree to be with them in the palace and so nobody will move, or to make her 
can't come back to the palace and not have the capacity to pray and be that fighter that she has always been. But what is, you know, um, 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 my concern right now is that um, uh, uh, this report is saying that she is reneging, like she is not returning back to the palace, like everything she said last week, they said it's not standing any day anymore. It holds no water because she is not returning back. Now, um, um, Yag, Yag, Yagba, they said Yagba is working to save Queen Naomi from herself, that um, Yagba is well aware that most of the decisions that Queen Naomi is making right now, she's not in her right um, frame of mind. Now, even um, the owner of the fair allegedly is making some decisions that where they started is where they are going into right now, where people will be able to make any kind of decision they want to make. They said, as even as we speak now, there is a queen, um, a, an Italian or um, uh, this queen from Malta. I don't know if it's Malta that is waxing so strong, like uh, uh, marking time to come into the palace of the Oniovife, as in to be a wife. Um, but we don't know. For me, I don't know because, of course, I do. I have told you that these are all alleged. I do not live with those people. But then again, we are beginning to see, you know, some of the prophecies that were brought um, uh, uh, in last month uh, playing out that there are going to be a lot of challenges left, right and center, that NAMI has to stand forth and fight um, to the end, that there's going to be a major last fight that they will need to fight before they get to where they, their place of glory. Uh, is this it or are we still going to have to encounter more in the days ahead? Nobody knows, but this is not looking as good as one would expect it to be looking at a time like this. Now, Onia Vife is said to have been very, very unhappy over the fact that Olori Nami says she is not returning back to the palace, that she's not coming, that she does not mind going and starting her life all over again. But if it is for them to sit back and begin to hash plans to bring her and mix her up with those women that we all know will do anything, anything, just anything, allegedly just to be there and um, or without Queen Naomi, that um, Naomi is saying that it will never, ever work. And they said that the only of the was just teary and begging her that it is not like like that, that they need to stick together and fight together and all of that. And they say she made mention of the fact that she is sticking with the Oni of Ife. She's ready to fight the battle, but she's going to fight from afar, that she is not returning back into the palace, that there is no way in the hell that she will carry her son and enter that palace, that she knows exactly what is going on in the palace. That if KBSC says he does not know, that she, she knows what's happening in the palace, that she will not go. So, so many people are saying it's Yagba's um, help that is working on Queen Naomi now, that the Queen Naomi that is speaking now is the true uh, Queen Naomi. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.